YouTube channel and I hope all of you are doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how do I create my watch list from the scratch. I'm going to show you the whole process. How do I select stocks? How do I create my watch list? How do I select stocks for trading? And everything in this video, I will explain a complete process. Okay, so let's get started with the video. So I have this one primary watch list that I use for trading, mainly for trading. That is, I've named it actionable. I have many other watch lists that uh, that I use for uh, when I want to deep dive, right? So I have sector wise watch lists and theme wise watch list and overall market watch list like this NSE uh, 1000 stocks, 2000 stock and all, all these things. So I use this just on the weekend, but my primary watch list that I use for day to day trading or maybe for swing trading or anything like that is this actionable watch list right so how do i select these stocks how do i select which stock is actionable and uh, or not right so i'm going to show you the whole process which scanner that do i use and how do i select these stocks and we are going to do that together in this video so first uh, i'm just going to make it clear that this any stock discussed here is not a recommendation please consult your financial advisor before taking any trade or making any investment okay so let's get started with the video so I'm going to remove all the stocks that are here in this watch list and I'm going to show you how do I select stocks from the right from the beginning. So before we do that, before we jump into the scanners, first I want to explain the thought process, right? So whenever I'm selecting the stock, I mainly focus on two things. That is one is structure. And the second thing that I look for is sector. Okay, so st structure and sector. These are the two things that I focus on. Right. So structure basically means structure basically means is the structure of the stock that I'm looking at. OK, uh, I'm not really good at drawing. So forgive me for that. OK, so the structure means the kind of stock that I'm looking, the kind of price section I'm looking for. And the sector simply means the sector which is currently moving, which has the maximum number of stocks that are going up. So in structure, I mainly look for what I, uh, you know, I'm just going to explain what kind of structure I look for. So the main thing I look for in structure is simply that the kind of stock I'm looking, how the price section is going is first of all, I look at the structure should be cleaner. What I do, what I, what do I mean by cleaner structure is that simply there should be no choppiness or very little choppiness, right? The stock shouldn't be, uh, the stock shouldn't be going like this and this, right? I, I am looking for something smooth, like a base or something like that, where the stock is moving in a range or something like that. Second thing I look for is uh, the contraction. There should be some bit of contraction in the structure, right? So the structure shouldn't be very uh, loose kind of a structure that goes like this or this, no. Uh, what I'm looking for uh, in a structure is that there should be a contraction, there should be price contracting like this towards the end of the uh, area, the, the resistance point from where the stock starts, starts moving, right? And the third thing that I look for is the trend, right? So the stock should be in an uptrend or at least it should be in a consolidation, right? I'm not looking for anything that is going like this. Maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes when I want to play a reversal, then also I'll, uh, there will be a specification what I'm looking for, right? The structure should be like, even though structure is like this, let's say the structure is like this, and at the end of the structure, it should be something like this, okay? So then only I'll consider it. And in the sector, sector in sector, I'm basically just simply looking for something like this, okay? Let me remove that first okay so i'm not really good at this for some reason okay let me remove that okay so coming back to the structure sector part okay so structure uh, sector i want maximum number of stocks going up okay so when i'm looking at a sector i want maximum number of stocks in that specific sector in any sector that should be going up second thing i look for is the results should be good good results okay i want stocks where the results are good i want the sector where the results are going good okay so these are the main primary conditions that i look for and then i jump into the scanners okay so let's jump in so for scanning i only use at this point i only use this web website chart maze i've made multiple videos about this video uh, this platform and how to create your own scanner and a basic overview of the whole platform and if you want another video where i explain everything about the what new has come in this 
particular platform but new features that the founders have launched uh, i can make a video on that too and do comment uh, about that if you want to see that video okay so coming into the scanners okay so i have made a custom scanner which i'm going to show you the criteria that i use okay so this is my custom scan uh, and i'm going to show you the criteria and my criteria is very very simple okay so first i'm uh, i made multiple kind of scanners and uh, these are the few scanners that i use this being the primary one right you see i have uh, set it as a default scanner okay so first thing i'm looking for is that the stock should be above the 20 moving average and uh, that should be above the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average right so this is the basic filter second thing i am looking for is that the overall rs that is the relative strength of the stock should be between 80 to 100 that simply means that the stock is better moving better than the 80 percent of the rest of the market okay third thing i want the stock should be within the range of 50 to 25 percent 0 to 25 percent of 52 week high that simply means the stock is in an uptrend if the stock is near the 52 week high that simply means the stock is in an uptrend okay so this is very basic filter criteria right so and second thing i want to do is that i want to exclude all asm stocks and the circuit stocks i want to simply remove those you can also add some fundamental criteria if you wish and there are many technical criteria that you can add more right but this is the basic structure this is the basic scan that i use to while selecting stocks okay so i'm getting a list of stocks here so there's i'm getting a list of 198 stocks right now okay so a general overview you can see the basic industry here you can see the market cap you can see the one week one month and 30, three month returns and one thing is very clearly clear here is that this particular stock has been doing really well from the past few months right so then i'll simply just quickly jump onto charts now comes the part where i'm looking for the structure and the sector okay the first thing i'm looking for a cleaner structure so if you remember my criteria i'm looking for these three things the structure should be clean the co there should be contraction there should be the trend so first criteria is clear uh, all these stocks are in an uptrend right so i'm not seeing any kind of contraction here that I require for a good entry if you want to make a good entry you want a good risk reward then you need a cleaner structure and you need a point where you can enter the that particular stock okay so I'm not finding it here right now maybe if it was somewhere around here then I would have definitely selected it same thing here I'm not finding a good structure uh, not a contraction not a base right so I'll skip that this one looks relatively better as compared to the other two Although these are very doing really really well and if somebody is already holding then uh, good for them but uh, for the fresh selection for the fresh entry I don't think so right so coming to this one this certainly is slightly better although these two red bars are a uh, you know a problem but because they will again that simply suggests there is supply around somewhere around here but the base is currently forming the stock is well above the 21 day moving average right now. This one is also a really good one. Uh, it came out from this previous structure and I was following it at that time. And then there was a bit, f uh, bit of unfortunate days when the stock started coming down. And again, a uh, small structure forming here, small contraction happening. But again, I won't be looking for this. I'm, I, whenever I'm looking at stocks, I, I am going to be very, very specific. Okay. So coming to the sector part, right? So. Uh, I've, after looking at so many stocks, I automatically know which sector they belong to, like this from the metal sector, this again from the metal sector. So there's one thing that it suggests is that the metal sector is relatively doing well because I'm getting multiple stocks from the single sector, right? Coming to the structure, this one is a bit of a good structure. I would like to see some sort of uh, consolidation here. So I'm just simply going to add this one in the watch list so what i like to do is that i like to use both these platform combined uh, trading view and this one and i simply just whenever i look at the stocks i just simply add them here in my actionable watch list right so this one looks good gmdlc also looks good although this section is a bit of a worry but i'm just going to observe it for some time right because the sector doing well and the stock is also looking relatively better right with a f uh, chance of fresh entry again you see, I was talking about this, uh, the sector. So again, we have a third stock from the similar sector that is from the uh, metal sector. So Ashapura Mine Cam. Again, I'm repeating again, none of these stocks that I'm selecting are a recommendation and you should do your own study. 
I'm just showing you how I select these stocks. Okay, so this one had really good earnings, but again, no entry here, no fresh entry here. Although uh, it could be a gap play because the the results were really good and the stock was in a really good structure. And you see, I would have easily selected it few days back. Uh, I think so. It was in my watch list if I remember correctly, or uh, maybe I wasn't focusing that much because I'm not trading that much these days, right? So that is again an issue. Again this again is in a clear uptrend the stock is good but again no fresh from the fresh entry point of view i'm not going to select this again again sim similar problem with this one this one although looks much better structure wise i'm not sure it has good liquidity looking at the structure but again i'm going to put it in the watch list because again the the entire price section looks really good okay this one also very very nice structure i'd say Right, the first two three criteria are, uh, you know, it is satisfying two three criteria. The stock is in an uptrend. There's a base, and it's near the resistance area. So I'm simply going to add it uh, in the watch list. Right. So this is this is simply how I make my watch list. Very simple thing that I do on, uh, and I re keep revising it every two three days. Right. This one looks really really good. You can see uh, well uh, how beautifully it is contracting. I'm going to show you it on the. Uh, bigger chart okay so our bill bank right so see you you see i have already marked it here so again this is one of my favorite structures that is inside the inside i call it uh, because there's a one mother bar that is a big bar and then there's a there are multiple smaller bars forming within the range of that big bar and uh, that is simply a vcp that is a volatility contraction pattern on a smaller scale if i go down to two hourly chart you can clearly see it is a vcp on a smaller scale right so again uh, whenever the stock breaks out from this range that could be a good entry point this one also uh, very similar structure right so inside bars forming within the range of a mother bar and whenever it crosses this particular level of 72 that could be a good entry point TVS select again i'm not going to select this one as you can clearly see there's a clear supply here and the stock is also coming down this one on the other hand looks really good you can clearly see the base forming and the price contracting right at the resistance level you see srm i'm not sure what is the ticker here i think so this one yeah much better you can clearly see how it's forming a range you can call it a box you can call it a range whatever you would like to call it right so clearly above this level there could be a, an entry here this one also a very contracting a very nice contracting structure you can see small small candles forming but again i'm going to skip that one uh, and this overall it's satisfying all other criteria so maybe i think i should add it in the watch list lnt finance yeah again the sector is doing relatively well you can clearly see we have two stocks from the finance sector here or maybe one is an uh, NF, NBFC and one is bank, but that doesn't matter. Overall, the sector is finance, right? So again, doing really well. So, and if you even go in the market analytics and you see the sector analytics, you'll one thing that you will see that the financial services and metal minings are uh, two of the top performing sectors, and oil and gas, right? So coming back to the scanner, this is going to be a long video, and I'm posting a, it after a very long time, and I'm hoping that you will. You guys will share it as much as possible and watch the entire video maybe it will be of some value to you guys so coming back to where we were we were looking at the stocks right so again i'm not going to go through all 198 stocks that would be very boring for you guys but i'm just showing you the pro procedure right so two three things first we know that the metal sector is doing well that too we didn't even look at the sector analytics in the beginning I simply concluded that from the kind of stocks that I was get, getting in the scan, right? There were multiple, uh, you know, those metal stocks. There were multiple finance stocks like AB Capital. There is then we have GPIL again, a metal stock, right? Uh, and the third sector that was really doing well was uh, petrol, but I haven't seen any stock from that here yet. Maybe it does not specify the criteria or maybe there are still many stocks left. So we'll find those again. No entry here. This one on the other hand looks good. This is something that I need to be keep in my watch list. So what was the ticker? 
so premier explosives again a big large base forming here we are clearly at the resistance level right so this is a interesting name this one again uh, kind of a interesting name again from the metal sector and it's uh, contracting but last two candles are not very convincing this one again a uh, very nice contraction structure so i'll keep it in the watch list so maybe even if you would like to do a very short term kind of a trade these structures are really really good for that when there's a very uh, you know short contraction and then usually there's a one candle of 5-7% and if you want to do an intraday during that day that could work like in structures like these okay so we have lot of slabs here not really my type of structure right now this one also uh, then we have Paytm and all Paytm again a really nice structure again from the financial service sector Indian bank from the financial service sector Paytm on the other hand looks really cool right now because of the multiple criteria that I've already mentioned 100 times again consolidating right here Circa Paints looking good SGS from the auto and ancillary sector but uh, not a good entry right now this one on the other hand looks really good TI yeah. Tilipnagar Industries I think so yeah so after looking at thousands and thousands and thousands of charts you automatically remember the name of many stocks okay the, the, it was trying to break out from the range right but uh, again the overall market is not very convincing at the moment so there was no proper follow through and the candle also does not look that good although there was good amount of volume here this one looks good again from the uh, metal sector then we have from Muthit Finance, from Finance Sector and these are the 50 first 50 stocks, right? So you get the gist of it, right? So I'm going to stop here and you get the gist of it. How do I create my watch list? How do I select the stocks? Okay, so first I'm, do I'm just focusing on two things, right? You can clearly see that first is being the structure and uh, second one being the sector, okay? Structure should be clean, uh, there should be a contraction, the trend should be up and the sector should have maximum number of stocks going up and should have good results and which both uh, the, the two sectors that we found I'm not sure why I didn't found any uh, petroleum stocks but I'm sure there, there will be some those stocks right so the two sectors we found which are doing well are metal and finance okay so there were multiple names coming from the similar sector and most of the time the structure was really good although I am not finding any very convincing new entry candidates right now but uh, what I'm looking for right now is just simply uh, a two three week kind of a consolidation or maybe a few days kind of a consolidation like this RPL back so I hope you guys learned something new in today's video and uh, I'll try to make videos more regularly uh, I know I haven't seen saying that from the last few videos but this time again I will try my best and I hope you learned something new uh, goodbye and I will see you in the next one